Hey guys, I'm gonna try a new thing out, as you can tell here. Yeah, there's four of me. Green one, purple one, red one, and yellow one. Well, yeah guys, uh, I'm actually gonna try playing around with the effects today, guys, and uh, really take advantage of them, you know, just to do something else, you know, do something different. Probably do these in another couple of other videos. Just to, you know, play around with effects and stuff like that, you know, so you don't really get just the old plain stuff. Now, this way, too, if you don't understand or see something, you have four different boxes to choose from. Yeah. Anyways, this is all 320 by 240 anyway, the whole size of it. But, you know, like I said, guys, it's all different. It's, I mean, it's all the same. It's all moving in the right time. But I just wanted to do a little cool, you know, mess around with the effects. And I can change them anytime I want, like I said. I can. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's not what the video is about today. Today's about a Mac versus PC video. So, I know this may not look, you know, professional, but what the heck, guys, you know, we gotta chill out every once in a while and, uh, you know, mess around. But, anyways, today, Mac versus PC software, you know, diversity, that's what I wanted to talk about today. You know, the differentiates on how software for the Mac OS X, Windows, and, you know, talk about Linux and this. I've talked about, you know, comparisons of software, but really wanted to hit it hardcore now that I've, you know, done, one, learned more apps and how the stuff works on OS X, all that stuff. You know, for, uh, I want to start off with, uh, you know, I was actually watching a video of Chris Perillo's, or actually when he was recording it live on his channel, uh, live.perillo.com, and uh, he was talking about how, I think the guy stated in his email that the community, I mean, not the community, the hardware for Apple is all owned by Apple, but Chris mentioned something that is true, guys. Uh, I always mention this too. It's the community that really is the thing that gives back, guys. Like I always say to you guys, it's, it's not, you know, without, you know, of course without me you wouldn't have videos, but without you guys I wouldn't have anything, you know, to motivate me to, you know, or a reason to do my videos, so what's, what would be the point? But, you know, the community is really what gives back and really what keeps, you know, hardware, software, all that stuff alive, guys. They're the ones who are pushing the edge, you know, when new OS has come out and there's not, you know, something there, and then, you know, the community or developers, you know, are the ones, third-party software, to, you know, gets it there. For, you know, stuff like the iPhone, I'm sure you've seen people hack it in the, the firmware for 2.0 and all that stuff. You know, they're pushing the edge, guys. They're innovating. Uh, call them whatever you want, but to me, guys, they're really, you know, pushing beyond, you know, their standards. They're redefining the standards, and that's really, you know, saying something. And third-party software for uh, the Mac or OS and, uh, you know, it's really, it's this is what I love about OS X, and this is one of the main reasons I've always wanted to switch, is because of software, 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 applications, programs, whatever you want to call them. One, they're, uh, you know, great, you know, superior to a lot of apps that we have on Windows. They have more modern apps, and, you know, uh, most of them are easy to get and free. You know, you don't have to pay for them. There's no trial versions. Most of the things you can get here for free because of the developers who made them. And, you know, they're you know, there's just about about an app for anything on, you know, the Mac, and it's really great on the wide variety of apps you can get, you know, for free, you know, you know, of course, there's stuff even you have to pay for, it's a great software, I mean, it's not like something you won't use, but, and it's great prices, or, you know, uh, usually on Mac software, I always see stuff for like, what is it, like a 10, I mean, like, like 20 bucks at the most, you know, I've seen some that go up to 100, but those are like the really high top of the line, but they're really worth it, guys, and, so I want to talk about third-party apps. I'll be comparing some stuff like uh, one I always mention, Can Twist, guys, compared to Webcam Max. Now, Webcam Max is the you know the virtual webcam software effects and all that stuff for Windows, and you can get the chat in and everything that Perillo does and everybody else does it. But you have to pay for Webcam Max. I think it's like thirty something dollars uh, compared to Can Twist, which has one Can Twist is free on Mac, so OS X only. It runs great. Uh, it has much, much more features and effects than Webcam Max does, and it's free, totally free. You know, I'm pretty sure it updates frequently. It, it can uh, connect with IRC, and it matches greatly with a program that they also have for the Mac that's free, an IRC client called Colloquy. Though for Windows there is free IRC clients like XChat and MIRC, but Colloquy, uh, it's it's simple. You know, like 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 how Macs are simple, and you know. You know, uh, even the designs of Macs, uh, it's simple but elegant. That's how the software is. It's not elegant, but simple, but it's simple and easy. You can, you know, really just, just like that. Uh, you know, I'm sure even a novice user, I mean, uh, you know, a, you know, if you're just new to use a uh, new computer, new to using a Mac, 
it, I, I would say you can easily set up IRC with a uh, cam to us, and there's great feedback from the community. Of, you know, if, uh, I'm pretty sure if you type in how to pimp out your Ustream, uh, you'll first you'll probably get uh, Buana's, uh blog on Cam Twist and Call Queen. He shows you how to set it up right from the get-go. And it's really easy, guys. That's how simple, you know, all the the interface is great, and you know, the software is amazing. The uh, you know what you can do with Cam, you can do amazing stuff with Cam Twist, whether it be video and you know, and uh, uh, screen recording, whatever it may be. Cam Twist is awesome, guys. And it's a great way for you stream and everything. So that's just one example. Again, you know, there's also built-in apps like I've talked about iMovie versus Windows Movie Maker now. For Windows Movie Maker, what they tried to do from XP jumping to Vista, uh, they tried to improve it. But really, they added, you know, uh, better, you know, for stuff for encoders, stuff like that. They did for better playback and, you know, uh, so it runs smoother, the video. But they really didn't add many new effects, new transitions. Not stuff, you know, really, really big. The interface stayed the same. Uh, they said so that people want to get lost. I, I think if you switched it up a little bit and you added some new big huge feature stuff like that you would have got you know uh... an advantage but you know iMovie it's great and there's even iMovie HD which has even more features uh... windows movie maker hopefully next time after after vista they learn and you know really incorporate it now i'm pretty sure you know they added some big things like i think it was hd but for, you know if you really want to step outside the box and you know do something else with it but uh... like that's another example uh... now programs that cost money there's stuff like i show you which costs 20 bucks, it's a screen recorder. Well, you know, on Windows there's Camtasia, which it all can, can also cast, cost money for Windows. But then again, there's third-party software for Windows, which, you know, like I use Cam Studio, there's Cam Studio, there's a, a whole bunch of other ones. But the thing is, for iShow, you guys, it may not be, you know, cost money, it may cost money, but only 20 bucks. It comes from a great, great company called Shiny White Box, one of our sponsors. You can find them at www.shinywhitebox.com or head over to our blog. Kidguru-techworld.blogspot-techworld.com I mean, and click on the banner there. But guys, they make great, it's a great screen recorder. Not only that, they have built-in stuff on the Mac, like zooming that you can use uh, you know, to, to take advantage. Uh, for Microsoft, you can get a zoom, something called Zoom It, but it's a program you have to download. You know, Mac just comes preloaded with it. That's what I love about the, the OS and the software. So, you know, there's even software on the Mac that costs money, but still su very superior. It's like vice versa with Webcam Max and Cam Twist. Webcam Max costs 30 bucks, but it's not even superior to Cam Twist. So, uh, there's other stuff like, uh, and there's comp oh, well, actually, I should say, there's companies out there, like I mentioned, Shiny White Box, a great sponsor of ours, who makes great software for the Mac. Great software for the Mac, whether it be I Show You or Stomp, which is a compressor for videos. I Show You is a screen recorder. It's great prices, guys, and it's Amazing, amazing software. That's you know, it's ease of use, ease of access, and amazing. Uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of free software on OS X, but OS 10, I should say. I keep on saying OS X, but that doesn't mean there's not free stuff for Windows. Just that, you know, the apps that you can really need, right? You know, for media and all that stuff, it's on OS 10. You can find just like that. There's an app almost for everything. It's amazing apps. You know, so stuff that you know. You, mostly, you know, in Windows, you have your tweakability and stuff like that. You have to rely on that because it's all ran by a registry. Well, OS 10, you know, this is not DLL hell. It's not ran by a registry. It's a core solid OS, and that's what how the simplicity is a huge role in software and the hardware and OS 10 in general. So, yeah. And then lastly, there's the market software. There's you know stuff that Adobe's really been incorporating the Mac lately. Uh, software they learned that. Back in the day, Apple learned that, you know, IBM, what was driving it to success was software. And that's when they started incorporating that with Adobe, especially, you know, they got stuff like nowadays Photoshop, all the CS versions, Elements, Final, and then, you know, they incorporated their own stuff like Final Cut Pro, which is, you know, a lot of developers and a lot of movie makers and stuff are made on a Mac now. So, you know, these Final Cut Pro, uh, Final Cut Express, you know, add-ons like Live Type, whatever it may be, they have really great graphics you know, software, and, uh, you know, there's even other software that you can go out and buy in the market, like I said, for regular users, like VMware, for example, is a great, great uh, virtual machine software that you can run with, you know, Windows or Linux on your Mac in a virtual machine, so you can test if anything goes wrong. You can, uh, like, Windows or Mac, there's also Boot Camp, you want to, you know, run games, a lot of people use that for games, Parallels, whatever you want to run, guys. And I like, I'm not, but again, I'm not saying that there's no, none of this on Windows, 
equivalent, but usually it'll cost money and there's a trial or it's not equivalent to what's on OS X. And sometimes Windows apps may be better than OS X, but guys, I'm just trying to show you that with this new OS of OS X and really give it a chance, guys, because the software that you may be needing, you know, be Googling all night trying to find on BitTorrent or whatever, you can easily find just like that for OS X, you know. Uh, and like I said, the art of installing may be different. You have your DMG files on OS X. You have your .ini files on Windows and all that stuff. But and all it comes down to what the software is made out of and how easy it is to install and how easy it is to access and how you know how easy it is to use in general. So really, guys, that's all I want to talk about today. Uh, Mac versus PC software diversity. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the channel. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the channel at www.youtube.com slash stickercoolman. Have any questions, email me at kidgrewcenter at gmail.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.